Hello students. The topic we are going to discuss today is one of the most important topic in today's world, especially at this event of crisis. The question is how long this can sustain. It's high time to decide that. What is more important for you people, economy or the environment? Operations management is a multidisciplinary field that addresses the efficiency and effectiveness of the operations of an organization. Therefore, sustainability is important in all the processes, operations and disciplines of operations management. In this class, we would try to discuss the topic sustainable operations management. We have already studied lean manufacturing which is a methodology that focuses on minimizing waste within manufacturing systems while simultaneously maximizing profit and that leads to sustainability. These are few of the important sources which were used while making this presentation due to time scarcity I was not able to uh, uh, acknowledge all the sources so I would like to apologize to those sources sustainability what do you mean by sustainability it can be defined as the performance that meets the need of the present without compromising the ability of the future generations to meet their own needs that means it's a performance that meets the present and future needs as well during the past few years there has been growing pressure on the business to pay more attention to the environment and scarce resources the resources are getting scarce the pressure is so much that the firms have moved towards the 3BL model or triple bottom line framework or evolution of firm's performance that is societal, environmental, environmental or ecological and financial aspects of firm's performance also called as people, profit and planet. Planet means your uh, environment, people means society and profit means economic ability profit these three spheres frameworks was initially developed by the economist Rene in 1979 these factors should be integrated with quality cost and other conventional performance measure and in addition to that the factors such as customer satisfaction should also be reached because you cannot just lead to the environmental protection without the customer satisfaction. If the customer satisfaction is not there, you cannot sell the product just for the save, uh, saving the planet. All the three circles in this framework are of equal size. What does this showcase? This showcase that no single factor is more important than another factor. All of them are equally important. If the firm focuses on one factor more than the another factor, it, it, it will get affected. A balance is required. A balance is important between all the, these factors. You need to take care of the profit as well with taking care of your people. People means the people who are working for your uh, company and the people who lives in society. Sustainability is a very complex term as it would also depend upon the life cycle of the company or country in which the company and country is there. For an example, now USA after using nuclear energy for years and after lots of development coming in the development stage can make protocols. But for a company or country in this context in the initial stage of or the growth stage of that particular uh, uh, life cycle it is difficult for them to be a, a carbon neutral company but yes it's necessary for all but depends upon like for whom it's possible and whom it, for whom it's not possible these uh, there is substantial research on the aspects of environmental in this particular aspect but there are only few limited studies which integrate both economic and environmental implications and trade-off between both of them that is profitability competitiveness and environmental dimensions we have already studied the profit aspects several number of times in different subjects 
and also the environmental which includes the ecology natural resources environmental includes using resources judicially and in fact the whole objective is increasing the uh, whole objective of production operation management that is increasing efficiency and effectiveness fulfills this aspects of sustainability actually the rate of usage of natural resources should be same as the rate at which they get replenished naturally they get disposed decomposed naturally renewable energy sources such as hydroelectric power solar power wind energy should be used they also they also reduce the pollution they are economical they are uh, sustainable they are sustainable from both the aspects commuting should be decreased and telecommuting should be increased if there is any production there will be wastage of products as well wastage will be there your uh, waste products will be produced in that particular manufacturing but firm should try to reduce these wastage and dispose them in the manner that environment is least affected environmental sources resources should be treated as important economical assets they are free but not unlimited no resource is unlimited right now earlier few resources were considered as the unlimited resources but now even air and your water are not unlimited resources they should be treated as natural capital like you treat your money and in the society factor in the people factor in india mandate of spending 2% of the profits by large company on the corporate social responsibility can have significant impact on the society planting trees securing jobs making an healthy and safe environment to the staff these things are important to make any business sustainable but yes i totally agree that artificial intelligence is making it doubtful a question of introspection for you people that do you believe that artificial intelligence is a sustainable medium or not manufacturing should be shifted towards green manufacturing also called as distributed manufacturing distributed production or local manufacturing it is a form of decentralized manufacturing practices by enterpri enterprises using a network of geogra geographically dispersed manufacturing facility dispersed manufacturing fa facilities that are coordinated using the information technology and other mediums this will not only reduce the transportation cost but will also uh, reduce the adverse effect on the environment at a single place locational decisions of the production and operation management will come into use in this particular aspect. the company should move towards appropriate technologies appropriate technology what do you mean by appropriate technology appropriate technology is a technological choice and application that is small scale affordable by the locals decentralized more of labor intensive energy efficient environmentally sound and locally autonomous these are the two examples of an appropriate technology they are good for the environment sustainable transportation should be there sustainable transportation means the mediums and modes which creates lesser pollution although many researcher believe the green transportation is often used as a green wash marketing technique as it is difficult to transport without significant impact on the environment what do you mean by green marketing then green marketing is a process of conveying a false impression or providing misleading information about how a company's products are more environmentally sound you can also see this from this particular uh, picture that are we riding a green car then but actually that particular electricity has been produced by thermal plants which is not actually very environmental friendly we need to use green products green products are the products that contain recycled material they reduce wastage 
conserve the energy and water, use less packaging and reduce the amount of toxics disposed and composed, com consumed. Following are the few examples of green packaging where package contains a seed and can be planted in place of discarding and in landfills also it has prob probability of germinating. These are the examples for that. We need to go for carbon neutrality. What do you mean by carbon neutrality? It means having a net zero carbon footprint. Meaning to achieve net zero carbon dioxide emissions by balancing carbon emissions with the carbon removal. Bhutan is the only carbon negative company country sorry, which removes more carbon dioxide than it produces and informs the Microsoft plans to reach this particular state by 2030. Green supply chain should be used, the reverse logistics should be do, used, which aims to minimize the byproducts from ending in the landfill. Rather than uh, uh, filling the landfills, these products should be recycled and be reused in the industry again. This is the California based company, the Green Troyes is a California based company which recycles 100% of its product. Many other companies are also going towards sustainable models. Tide, com Tide come up, came up with uh, its cold water detergent. This may look irrelevant to you people, but for many European countries where the temperature stays very cold uh, and in fact in negative also, this product was a breakthrough, saving so lots of energy in uh, uh, heating the water for washing the clothes. Selling refurbished phones is an example of sustainability. Green computing. Use of cloud computing to save your data will reduce the problem of e-wastage disposal, which is one of the most important problem these days. Reducing the consumption. Reuse the old material after refurbishing and recycling the waste can solve many problems. But few more are should be added like refuse to purchase unnecessary products. In which, which in consumerism the marketers are selling you people. And rot or decompose the rest of the waste. Disposing and decomposing the waste is equally important. Green art architecture can also lead to sustainable operations of the firm. It can reduce the wastage of resources and electricity. It can also improve the quality of life of the employees. And as economic benefit, it can also reduce the operating costs. Example is our college's own electricity requirements are fulfilled through solar energy only. Although the initial installation charges were very high, but is going to be good for the environment in the longer run. These beautiful buildings are made up of the complete solar panel. The, build, the whole buildings are made up of solar panels. I try to cover few aspects related to this particular subject, rest you can study using your standard textbooks. But still there are discussions on how these can be sustainable, how there can be sustainable use of non-renewable resources. We can actually never reach absolute sustainability, but we can try to move as near that is as possible. Many schools have started teaching courses such as environmental engineering, environmental chemistry, environmental technology courses which will definitely help in this direction. Thank you. Now this is me Vikas Kumar Tyagi signing off for the day. Thank you.